Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about hydropower energy. Are you ready? Let's begin! What is hydropower? Hydropower is power that is generated from moving water. Examples of moving water are rivers. Hydropower is renewable energy. This means that using a dam or a river to generate electricity doesn't use up any limited resources like coal or gasoline. Unlike fossil fuels, it cannot be used up. When water power is harnessed, it can be used to create electricity or hydroelectricity. How do we get power from water? Falling or flowing water from a big river has a lot of energy. We can harness this by forcing the water through a pipe called a penstock. As the water flows through the pipe, it turns the blades of a turbine which spins an electric generator. As long as the water is flowing, the generator will be able to provide electricity. Oceans can also be used to create hydroelectricity. Those water power sources are known as tidal power or wave power. Tidal power is created during the tide, when the water level along the oceanic coast changes. Wave power is harnessed by the up and down motion of waves. Are there any drawbacks to hydropower? Like any power, like any power source, there are some drawbacks to hydropower. One drawback is the loss of land and the damage to the local ecosystem caused when a lake is created by a dam. This can also cause people to have to relocate and leave their homes. Another disadvantage is methane emissions generated by the reservoir. Dam and turbines can also hurt fish and disrupt their migration to spawning grounds. Now here are fun facts about hydropower. There are over 2,000 hydroelectric power plants in the United States. Many countries, such as Norway and Brazil, get a significant portion of their electricity, as much as 85%, from hydropower. The largest dam and hydroelectric power plant in the world is the Three Gorges Dam in China. It provides 22,500 megawatts of electricity. Most of the dams in the United States were not built to supply power. They were built for flood control and to provide local irrigation. A large portion of the hydropower generated in the United States occurs in the western states. The number one producer of hydropower is Washington State, which produced 29% of the nation's hydropower in 2011. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about hydropower energy today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!